Hello YouTube, hello guys, welcome to another exciting day, welcome to my channel, welcome to YJ Digital, what I remain your host, Agu Joseph. So guys, welcome to the month of love, welcome to the month of Valentine, and welcome to the month of February. So guys, on today's tutorial video, I'll be walking you through on how to create a party flyer design for Valentine purpose like the one I have on my screen, okay? So if this actually sounds like what you're actually interested in and you're new to the channel, do well to smash the subscribe button do well to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content on my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always watching without further ado let's dive into it so the first thing i have to do here has to do with creating a new file okay and over here we'll be calling this uh valentine to be precise okay and our unit is set on pixels that is 2000 by 2000 resolution is set on 300 the column will remain on rgb this content will be used on webs and other mobile devices to be precise like instagram and the rest of them on other socials so click on the ok so over here guys i have my canva workspace and the first thing i would like to do is to drag in all the exercise files i'll be using for this tutorial guys so guys here are the exercise files i'll be using for this tutorial purpose okay the link to the exercise file is in this video description do have to check the video description you'll get the link to the exercise file so the first thing i'd like to do here is to create the background okay we start by creating the background so i'll come to the adjustment and select the solid color and i'll be using this color to be precise here is the hex code for the color i'll be using so i'll click on the ok button so after I'm done with that, I'd like to create a noise effect. I don't like my background to be so flat. So I'll hit Ctrl Shift N on the keyboard and call this noise, okay? And I'll change the blending mode to soft lights, okay? Then enable the 50% gray option. After I'm done, click on the OK button. Right click to convert the layer to a smart object. I always tell you that one of the advantages of converting your layer to a smart object is it enables you to come back to that particular layer and make adjustments to it at any point in time in your design. So after I'm done converting, come to the filter and apply a noise uh, filter to this. And I'll set this on uniform, monochromatic is checked. I'll be using this, okay, because I don't like uh, the noise effect to be so harsh on the workspace okay so i'll click on the ok that is for that so after i'm done with this i would like to make some other uh feel to this design so i'll come over here enable the model image and drag it over here hit ctrl t but before doing that always advise to convert your layer to a smart object so that it will maintain quality okay so i'll convert it to a smart object so i'll convert it to a smart object so that it won't lose its uh, quality hit ctrl t okay and place the image around somewhere here like this okay i think somewhere like this is okay like this i click on the check so after i'm done i'll come over here create a new layer by clicking on this okay i mistakenly created two so i'll come over here change this to black okay so after you're done creating the new layer, you come over here and select your gradient tool to be precise. I'm making use of Photoshop 2023, okay? So I'll come over here, left click and hold shift and drag like this to apply this to this, okay? So after you're done with that, if I come over here where I have this model image, click on this to add a vector max, come over here, pick a brush, right click and select the soft round brush make sure the opacity and flows are set on 100 percent to be precise the flows and opacity enable you to control the strength of your brush okay so i use the open and close bracket key beside the p button to actually scale up the size of my brush okay the open and close bracket key beside the p button to scale up and scale down the size of the brush so i make sure this foreground is set on black okay the black enable me to hide what i don't need on the max so i come here and brush out gently like this on this edges okay so after i'm done i can come over here as well select this and increase this like this so after i'm done with uh applying this so I'll come over here, select the model image or my subject image, come to filter and apply a camera roll. So first thing first, I would like to start with the basics to be precise. So on the basics, I'll increase the exposure. This is more of an eyeballing situation. 
The contrast, I'll also boost it up a little. Likewise, the highlight, I'll adjust the highlight a little bit as well. The shadows, I'll boost it up as well. The white as well will be boosted up like this. I think this is okay like this. The black as well should be adjusted a little by boosting it up a little. Come to the textures. Okay, add more textures to the image to be precise. I think this is okay. The clarity can be adjusted as well a little bit. I think after we are done with that, I think we are good to go. So I'll come over here to where I have details to be precise. So on the details, I like to make adjustment on the details by boosting up the sharpening a little bit to like this. Okay, this is more of an eyeballing situation. You allow your eyes to actually guide you. Okay, so that is for that. So for the noise reduction, I'll make adjustment to the noise reduction so that uh, the surface of the image won't look so rough. Okay, so after I'm done, I click on the OK button. So this is without the cuff and this is with uh, the camera raw effect rather. This with the camera raw effect, okay? So after I'm done with this, I would like to apply some other uh, feel to this by enabling this, drag this, okay? This brush stroke, okay? I'll double click on this, the layer style will come up. So on the layer style, I'll change the fill color to this particular color and paste in this hex code. This is the hex code for the color I'll be using. So I'll click on the OK button and I'll click on this as well. So after I'm done with that, I can come over here, place this around somewhere like this and still scale this up like this and place it somewhere around like this. Okay. So after I'm done, the next thing I'd like to do is to make some uh, adjustment okay but before doing such adjustment i like to place in my guides to be precise i want to start placing in my text so i'll enable the guides from the view and enable this as this okay so here are the parameters i use actually setting up my guides so i'll click on this to set it up okay so that is in terms of setting the guides so the next thing i would like to do is to place the theme of the event okay for the theme of the event i would like to call this love okay so i'll start with the first letter l which is to stand for love it's control t scale this up to be precise so for this i'll be making use of a font called rising arrange that's the name of the font okay that is for that so I'll increase the size and place it to somewhere around like this okay that is for that so after i'm done i would like to change the fill color for this okay so i'll come over here enable my color uh, the switches the swatches and pick this. this is the hex code for the yellow i'm using over here okay that is for that so i'll make a duplicate of this and change this to O to be precise I can still destruct the nature of the O by hitting Ctrl T and squeeze it down like this, okay? So I'll just play with this like this. I think this is okay. So after I'm done, I'll still make a duplicate of this, pick my text to change this to V, which signify for the V in the love text, okay? Duplicate this as well, change this to E to the size. I think this is okay like this okay guys so i'll just adjust this like this so after we're done with this i like to make some little adjustments to this for these two text here i would like to change the fill color so i'll come over here over here and change the fill color you can see the color has changed to this so after we're done with this i like to still make some adjustments to this okay so I'll come over here, select this layer, hold shift, select this other layer, and group this, okay? So I'll call this team. Okay, this stands for the team, to be precise. So after I'm done, I make a duplicate of this, okay? I make a duplicate of this like this. So I'll come over here where I have the duplicate. I would like to drag it inside the same group as this, okay? But I would like it to be directly beneath the whole group. Okay, we need the whole text over here. Okay, 
So I'll come over here. I'll open this group like this, or this like this. So I'll come over here and change its fill to black, okay? So after I'm done changing it to black, I can use the navigation key like this to adjust and see how it's actually looking like, okay? Okay, use your navigation key to make the adjustments. Come over here again, change. Let me just select the whole layers and change them to black to be precise. Change the field to black. Okay, and I think this is okay like this. I use the navigation key to adjust their position. Okay. I think this is okay like this. Okay, so after we're done with this, I think this is actually looking nice. So the next thing I like to do is to come over here, select this first layer for this text at the front, double click on this, come over here and enable this, okay? So I'll be setting this to, let me see, nine is okay. And I would like to change this to, let me say black, okay? Black will work perfectly well for this and I'll check, okay? I still choose to scale down the size a little bit like this. Okay. So after I'm done, if I hold Alt on my keyboard, move my mouse pointer where I have this FX icon, I'll drag like this to apply the effect to other layers over here, to this other set of layers like this. So that's for that, guys. So after we're done with this, I would like to make some uh, adjustment as well to the whole text. Okay. So this is the whole group. So I'll double click on this, the layer style will come up, enable the stroke as well, and change this to the same value of color as this. Okay, I think the size of the stroke is okay as well. You can check. So after we are done applying this outer stroke, so I'll come over to the group and select this layer where I have this E, open this other group, and as well, select both layers of E's. So I'll select this one, hold control, select this other E as well, Hit Ctrl T and I can choose to take it down like this. Okay, guys. So after we're done, I can check, select the main group layer and increase the size like this. Okay. So you can still rotate it like this if you want. And check. Okay. I think this is actually looking nice like this. So the next thing I'd like us to do is to close this group. Okay and take this outside like this okay that is outside uh this black uh field over here so the next thing i like to do is to place in the name of the group organizing the event okay so i'll pick the text to so i pick my text to come over here for example outside the team group left click and paste in this text okay for this i'll be making use of another font called legeros okay that is the name Legros is the name of the font for this. So I will increase this to this. Hit Ctrl T, increase the size, and place it to somewhere around here like this. Okay. So this is a party event and is the season of love. So you should be using a font that depicts font as well. Okay. Come here, paste it. Okay. Making use of the Montserrat for this. I'll set this on. Uh, let me see, semi bold is okay for this. And still scale it down, scale it up rather, and place it around somewhere here like this. Okay, so after we're done with this, I'd like to place in the date of the event. So I'll left click and paste in the date over here. Okay, that is for this, but I have to take this outside the group. It shouldn't be in the same group as this. Okay. Please take note of that. The theme should be on its own. So for this, I'll be making use of the same font, which is the Racing Range, to be precise. That is the name of the font. Okay. For this, I'll scale it up and place it here. So for this, I'll change this to the same fill as this. Okay. Check. For this, I'll change this to the same fill as white, which is white. Okay. I'll leave it as white. White. For this, I'll change this as this same as this blue as well okay so i'll check hit ctrl t to transform and scale it rotate the angle like this and place it around somewhere here like this as well so after you're done you can make a duplicate by hitting ctrl j 
and take the copied layer that is the duplicated layer beneath change its fill to black as well okay pick your move to and adjust its position like this okay you can see how it's looking so you this is more of an eyeballing situation so you adjust it using your eyes let your eyes guide you for this so after we're done with that the next thing i like to do is to select both layers and group them okay so i'll call this date to be precise so i'll make a duplicate and call this time okay so i hit ctrl j make a duplicate and take it here so this i'll call this time okay so this is more of an eyeballing situation you can see i've grouped them together you can still scale it up or rotate the angle like this okay so for this i can bring can bring in the time plus so the next thing i would like to do is to place in the venue of the event which i'll be using this for so i'll scale this down okay but before doing that i'd like to right click and convert it to a smart object okay converting it to a smart object enable me to make adjustment to this at any point in time okay so i can still scale this down like this okay like this is okay for that you can still adjust its position like this okay so after i'm done the next thing i'd like to do is to double click over here where i have the thumbnail and it will take me to an interface like this so i'll pick uh, over here i'll make use of the polygonal to make selections of these regions like this okay you notice that we are already working in another uh another tab entirely in our photoshop i'll come over here like this take out all these pieces like this and connect it to where i started So uh, this is more of selection using your, your poly, polygonal to be precise and make selections like this. Okay. So come over here as so well. Need to make another selection. So I'll connect it to where I started. So I'll hold shift to add another selection over here. The flick, the flick and connect it to where I started and you notice okay so the shift enables me to actually continue my selection from one from this part coming over here again make another selection holding the shift it enables you to continue your selection without any issues so after, so after I'm done with that come over here I notice that uh, this is not active so I have to right click and convert this to a rasterize layer come to edit and select this content aware scale to be precise so you allow this to load and this is how your board will actually be looking like okay so click on the ok button after you are done with that okay ctrl d to deselect okay this okay placing my date so i pick my text to type in this okay which is the venue so i'll scale it up i'll be making use of a font called marvel Okay, like Marvel Studio. So after you're done, you can position it over here. Hit Ctrl T, rotate the angle like this so that it will blend in with the direction. Okay. So that is in terms of that. Okay, guys. So after we are done with that, I'll need to make a duplicate of it and place in the location of the event. So I'll come here and paste in the location of the event. Hit Ctrl T, scale this down. Okay rotate the angle so i'll rotate the angle so that it will fit perfectly well like this is okay i can still scale it down and position it like this so i'll check pick the move to adjust the position and still rotate it a little like this i think this is okay like this so after i'm done come to over here and change the color to this okay that is in terms of that so after you're done, you hit Ctrl S rather to save the changes or you can still come over here and change the fill color to this yellow to be precise. Yes, I need it to be on this yellow. Hit Ctrl S. Okay. So after I'm done, you click on the close icon and it will take you back to your previous layer, uh, previous project. So the next thing I'd like to do here is to add other information. So I'll turn on my guides. Okay. 
So I'll come here by starting with this, okay? Pick my text tool and placing this information over here. Click on the T, make sure these are aligned like this. So for this, I'll take this out of this, okay? So I'll check. For this, I'll be making use of Montserrat for this particular text. So I'll set this on bold or extra bold so that the information will be more visible. So I can still scale it down. You notice the number is be behind the address object, okay? So I'll take, I have to take it above the object so that it will be visible. So after I'm done pasting this, I'll be using the same font as this, which is the Legaro uh, Solid. So I'll come over here, change this to Lega, the Legaro Solid. Okay, so I'll change the fill to the same fill as this yellow as well. Click the move to Ctrl T and place it here as well. Like this. Okay, for the contact number, I can still scale it down a little like this. Okay, why for this? I like to brush out this. I add the max. Pick my brush. Make sure you are still working with the soft round brush and make sure this is set on black. So you just come here and brush out these edges like this gently. Okay, you just brush out gently. I think this is okay like this. Okay, so after we're done with this, I like to pick my brush tool once more to make some fill. Okay, so I'll pick the brush to right click on it and pick this. Okay, I'll pick this brush to be precise. Okay. So I'll come over here, create a new layer over here. I'll call this brush. Come over here, scale down the size using the open and close bracket key like this. Okay, I can still right click and scale down the, the height of the brush like this so that yeah, scale it down like this. I think this is okay like this. So I'll come to where I have the layer, just left click, but before doing that, change your field to white. Okay, you need this to be on white. So I'll just click two times, left once, second, that is twice, okay? So after I'm done, I would like to place in this over here, okay? So I will transform it down and place it over here, scale it down and place it over here. I still notice that the brush is too, is too tall, so I can scale it down like this and and place it like this, okay? So I'll select both layers and call these uh, logos, okay? I can select both layers and adjust their position on my canvas like this, okay, guys? So after we're done with this, I would like to adjust the theme a little bit. Notice uh, these two informations are a little bit farther away. So I'll scale it down. Place them side by side as this. Okay, select with the team text over here. Hit Ctrl T, take it down like this. I think this is okay like this. Okay, you can still choose to still scale it down a little bit like this. So come over here, enable this tool like this. Select the two layers. Scale them down and place them over here. So, scale them down the more. So, I'll place one over here and move the other one and place it over this other end like this. But I'll still scale this down like this. Okay. So, for this, I would like to. I would like this to be directly beneath the team. So I'll drag it beneath the team like this. Okay. For this, I'll double click and change the color value to white. Why for this, I would like to double click and change the color overlay to the same value of yellow as this. Okay. So I'll sample this yellow and think this is good. For this okay so after we're done with that i'd like to duplicate this by hitting ctrl g 
this one copy around somewhere here like this not this to be precise let me delete this this other here this particular one hit control g and place it around somewhere here like this scale it out and place it like this so you can see scale it down and place it like this okay so i like this to be directly beneath the model image so i'll take this down here like this i still scale it down i think this is this is okay like this i hide this so i'll change the fill color to white so we click on the color overlay and change the color to white as well okay so pick the text to left click and type jago jago connect okay i'll make use of monserrat for this so i'll place this text here Control h to enable the guides so i'll place it here and enable the instagram icon over here as well okay select the layer hit ctrl t scale it down okay it's already converted to a smart object so i'll just pick my mouse to drag ctrl z so i'll come over here just drag and place this around here like this so i can scale it down as well the more okay double click on this the layer styles will come up change the field to white as well I think we are going to go like this so i can select both layers and group them okay so i'll come over here and drag this so that it will be side by side with icon okay and group this i call this social and adjust the position like this okay that's for that guys let me hide it guys okay this is how the project is looking like so far okay so that is in terms of that so i will start by organizing my layers i call this contact i want to organize my layers okay which other layer do i need to organize so i'll come over here which is this okay I'll come over here select these two group them and call them bg who stands for my background hotels this is the subject or the character image is okay like this okay what else there's not any other thing here i'll select these layers together and okay let me just leave them like this okay it's okay like this so the next thing i'd like to do is to add some fill of uh depth to this so i'll come over here add a new layer over here come to the adjustment and apply a pattern okay for this pattern i'll be making use of a chalk a uh, checkboard to be precise so i'll select this pattern for this okay so i'll scale this to about 400 okay and click on the okay so after i'm done change this to color dodge okay so i'll come over here and create a solid fill of white click on this hold alt in between this pattern layer and this to create a clipping max okay you can see the effects on this so i'll scale this to about the solid color I'll change it to about seven percent to be precise you can see the effect okay and this is set on color dodge this is set like this so control zero to fit to screen and this is how our project is actually looking okay i can still take this a step further by selecting the layer at the top okay this layer at the top by standing visible by hitting Ctrl Shift Alt E, right click and convert this to a smart object. After I'm done converting, come to filter here, all the way to camera raw filter. So over here, I'll start by making adjustments to the basics. Okay, I'll start by working on the contrast of the whole project. So I'll boost up the contrast. Okay, reduce the highlight. A little bit the shadows as well should be boosted up okay the white as well should be adjusted a little bit okay this is more of an eyeballing situation there is no actual rules guiding this so you let your eyes to actually guide you whenever you know when you are over applying those uh, adjustments okay 
So let me set this to about somewhere like this. It's okay. So come to details and make some adjustments. Let me increase the sharpening. Let me see the effect on the whole project. Adjust this noise reduction. And still increase the sharpening. I think this is okay like this. So after we're done, come to color mixer as well. I'll start with the hues. For the hues, I like to adjust the reds. Mm -hmm. Adjust the red hues to be precise. Why for this, I'll need to adjust the orange a little bit. The yellows need to be adjusted a little bit as well. Okay, this is more of eyeballing situation. The greens need to be adjusted as well. The aquas need to be adjusted by scaling them up a little so that it will affect the blues perfectly well. The blues as well need to be okay enhanced like this by adding more purple to this. I think we are good to go. Come to the saturations and scale down the reds a little bit. Okay. So likewise the orange need to be scaled up the saturation of the orange. Okay. So you just let your eyes guide you. Okay. The, don't be afraid of breaking anything. Okay. So I think we are good to go. I think yeah. Okay, so this is before and this is after. I think this is actually looking nice. So I can still come over here where I have this board, this view board. Uh, that is the address icon. I scale it down. I think it's too big for my liking. I'll place it like this. Okay, like this. So I'll go back to the top. We have this stand visible. Control Shift Alt E. Guys, click convert it to smart objects. Come over here, hold out and drag this over here so that to apply the effect. You just click there a few minutes ago. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's tutorial video. If you find this video helpful, do well to give it a like, do well to smash the like button right now, do well to smash the like button, guys. If you are new to the channel and you are yet to subscribe, do well to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell guys, do well to smash the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content on my channel and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you guys for always watching, thank you for always watching, if you have any question, any comment, you can leave your comments and questions in the comment section, if you enjoyed this video, do well to leave a comment guys, thank you guys for watching, see you in the next.